Welcome to Pop Projects. Today we're gonna upgrade your toilet. Upgrading your bathroom is a lot easier than you might expect. By replacing your toilet's fill valve, flapper, and lever, you can solve the majority of toilet problems people face. Everything from wasted water running endlessly to a weak flush. And the best part of that is you can do it yourself in just a few minutes with very few tools. A new fill valve can help your toilet run way more quietly and create a way more powerful flush. The first step is to shut off your water supply. The next step is to flush the toilet and check to see how much water remains in the tank. Then use a grout sponge or rags to remove the last bits of water. You can even use a wet dry vac. So the bottom of the fill valve, where it passes through the toilet tank, threads on with a thumb screw to the braided supply line for water. That we're gonna take off next. So the water supply is gonna have a little water in it too. The fill valve also has a threaded nut on there too. The next thing that's gotta go is the tube from the fill valve into the flush valve. We first wanna take the shank washer, this rubber gasket-y eraser looking thing, flat side up, and install it onto the threaded shank of the fill valve itself. Next step, the sweet spot is a three inch difference between this point and this point. So I can tell just by looking, we don't have that. So what we're gonna do is adjust the fill valve itself. And in this case, thread it down. The first thing we wanna check once we've dry fit our fill valve is that we've got enough room between the top of the fill valve and the bottom of the toilet's lid so that when we put it on, they don't impact each other. With the lock nut flat side up, we're just gonna thread it on to the bottom stem of the fill valve. Just get it finger tight and then reattach your water supply. Okay, so moment of truth, I'm gonna turn this on a little bit pressurize it. I'm going to check for leaks at our fittings. And if this is old on your toilet, say more than five years, might as well replace that while you're in here. Cut the rubber hose to the right size so that it won't interfere with the bottom of the tank top when you put the top back on. Catch it with the pipe clamp that's included right there. Then we'll just tuck this back where the old one was turn the water back on and we should be ready to go. We wanna make sure the water height is about a half inch from the top of that pipe. So to lower the water level in the tank, I turn this thumb screw, which in turn lowers the float. And when we refill the toilet with the float in a lower position, it will shut off where we need it to shut off. Now it's time to give it a flush to make sure the water rises to that half inch line below the top of that pipe. Bullseye. Man, I love it when stuff works. Now, pour about a gallon of water into the bowl. Do it slowly or the toilet will flush. Make a mark inside the bowl with a pencil to just above the water line. Now, flush the toilet again on purpose. If the bowl refills above that pencil line, then there's too much water. If it falls below that line, there's too little. The knob on the fill valve can be adjusted to get the water line just where we need it. It's right on the line. We're done. Replacing a leaking flapper can save you a lot of money in the long run, a couple pennies at a time. Not to mention saving local water supplies and keeping your bathroom quiet. The first thing you want to do is to turn off the water supply, then flush to empty the tank. We'll install the new flapper. Before I put this in, I wanted to show you that underneath the flapper, there's a silicone seal and it's adjustable. Zero for a quick flush, 10 for a full flush, and we're gonna set ours right in the middle of the road. The goal I'm trying to achieve here is that this chain hangs with about a half inch of slack. I'll hook the chain around the hook, then I'll hook the hook to the flush arm. And boom, that's about a half inch of slack right there. We'll turn the water back on. Replacing your tank lever takes just a few minutes. So in case you drop anything in the tank or don't wanna work with wet hands, 
shut the water off and give it a flush. Then remove the flapper chain from the lever. Pull the lever assembly from the arm and unthread the lock nut. We've got our lever mount, our optional sleeve, and our lock nut. We'll pass that through the toilet tank recess like so. Spin it counterclockwise, finger tight. Then we'll get our arm and pass it through the mount. So we'll reconnect the chain from the flapper, then attach the chain clip to the lever. Pro tip, leave about a half inch of slack in the chain. Slot that right on. Finally, the lever. Turn the water back on and check the handle for any adjustments needed and enjoy that new tank lever. It's beautiful. And just like that, it doesn't take too much time to upgrade your bathroom. With just a few tools and about 30 minutes of time on the weekend, you can get an old toilet working like new and looking great. And just like that, from the inside out, boring and old, ah, one more try. And just like that, from the inside out, boring goes to booyah. And I'm not putting the tank cover back on. That looks too good.